It's December! And with it comes the holiday season. And I've already got you your present. You want to see it? Well, it's this. It's a special series in which we're going to be looking at 12 reports and enhancing them. We're calling this special holiday event the 12 Days of Zebra BI Report Makeovers. And we're starting a little bit early so you guys can be ready for the New Year's with newfound knowledge and 12 awesome report templates. Now, if you're ready, let's get day one started. So today we'll be taking a closer look at this sales dashboard that does some things right. However, I'll show you how we can enhance it. So first, the configuration of the visualizations is quite good. It's using cards to show its most important KPIs in a good way. It also includes a trend chart and also two different visualizations that help us dive a little bit deeper into the data. We can also see that it's using comparison, which is the second really cool thing. However, we can see that there's no variance calculation anywhere on the dashboard. This means that we'd have to take another step, so a step extra to understand if we're doing better or worse than what we planned or versus previous year, because we can see that we're also comparing our data to that. Now let's look at how we can enhance it. First, let's tackle our most important KPIs. With using Zebra BI, we can try to add even more context to this number with automatically calculated variances for previous year and that are also formatted in the right way. So green meaning good, red meaning bad, and we can also add a visualization like this to help us understand more clearly exactly what's going on on the top level. And although the trend chart was a good idea, just visualizing the same data with Zebra BI will give us the automatically created and calculated and formatted variances directly on the chart. This will clean up the chart a little bit and help us understand the trends and read them and interpret them a lot easier than we did before. Next, let's discuss color. The excessive use of color on dashboards can lead to some confusion. We can see that on this dashboard, dark blue is once used to represent previous year, once it's used to represent plan, and another time is actually used to represent the wearables category. This is not correct. You should use colors more in the line with IBCS guidelines, which only use colors to represent the difference in variances green being good and red being bad. We can also add a lot more storytelling elements and understanding of our data with applying some comments. Before we go forward, like the video and subscribe, that way you won't miss tomorrow's video. For the data below, I believe it would be better represented with a structure chart made by Zebra BI tables. For Zebra BI tables, all of the positive talking points still apply, which is standardization, the restrained use of color, and more context for your data. I would also steer away from visualizing my data with tree maps, as they lack the data density and context required for a visualization that's taking up so much space on our dashboard. Comparing it with the Zebra BI table, you can see that the data density for the given space is a lot higher by using Zebra BI. For more information on data density, go check out this video called Action 2022 with Dr. Rolf Hechert, where we go into the nitty gritty of how to use your report canvas effectively. And that's it! Thank you guys for watching. If you want to download the template, you can find it in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video so you can be here tomorrow and not miss the next day in our 12 days of Zebra BI report makeovers.